The first is the opening of the biggest international contest in football, the World Cup. The other is the debut of cutting-edge technology that scientists hope could one day transform the lives of millions of people. The World Cup curtain raiser will see the first public demonstration of a mind-controlled exoskeleton that will enable a person with paralysis to walk. If all goes as planned, the robotic suit will spring to life in front of almost 70,000 spectators and a global audience of billions of people. The exoskeleton was developed by an international team of scientists as part of the Walk Again project and is the culmination of more than a decade of work for Dr. Miguel Nicolis, a Brazilian neuroscientist based at Duke University in North Carolina. In 2003, Dr. Nicolais showed that monkeys could control the movement of virtual arms on an avatar using just their brain activity. Since November, Dr. Nicolais has been training eight patients at a lab in Sao Paulo, in the midst of huge media speculation that one of them will stand up from his or her wheelchair and deliver the first kick of this year's World Cup. That was the original plan, the Duke University researcher told the BBC. But not even I could tell you the specifics of how the demonstration will take place. This is being discussed at the moment. Speaking in Portuguese from Sao Paulo, Miguel Nicolas explained that all the patients are over 20 years of age, with the oldest about 35. We started the training in a virtual environment with a simulator. In the last few days, four patients have donned the exoskeleton to take their first steps and one of them has used mental control to kick a ball. He explained. So we have realized our objectives, the exoskeleton is being controlled by brain activity and it is relaying feedback signals to the patient.